Lesson A will be in two parts. This is the first part right here um, that you're watching, and then part two will be posted later, I don't know, you know, probably a week from now, we'll see. So let's get started. I got a lot of questions and I wrote them all down here. Well, I didn't write every single one because I got a lot of duplicates and variations of the same question. So um, even if I don't specifically answer yours, I promise you the answer is here, if you kind of get me. Um, all right, first question is always the first question. It's AG, big fan, wanted to know what camera, lenses, um, and equipment I use. I pretty much use whatever equipment I have on hand at the time. Uh, and is easiest to get to and charge. So I have a Nikon D5100, um, a 7000, and a 610, and then sometimes I use a Canon 6D or a 1DX. For the Nikon, I have your basic prime lenses, 35, 50. Um, I have two different 85s, and then I also have a 14, but I don't use that for doll photos. And I have other lenses that I use for other things, but base your basic primes that I use for doll photos are 35, 1585 and I have the only ones on Canon, so that's what I use. AG Peace wants to know how many customs I have. I have just one custom, that is Sawyer. She's a Marie Grace doll with a red banged wig that I got from eBay, and no, I don't know the store. I just typed in what I wanted on eBay, and I found it, so that's what you should do, too, if you want to. Um, Alex Loves a G wants to know my dream doll and what the name would be. Um, that's really hard. My dream doll. I guess, I don't know. Too hard. There's too many options. Like, there's so many different dolls that I could create if I wanted to. I guess right now I really like dark eyes and dark hair. So, I, and my dream doll would probably be a Marie Grace mold with dark brown pinwheel eyes. Uh, probably Julie's eyes, and a brown wig, darker brown, but not black. Something like that. And I have no idea what her name would be. No. Ollie? No. Uh, fictional characters and dolls wanted to know, when did I start photographing my dolls? I started photographing my dolls when I was in Really, when I was in high school is when I started getting more serious about photographing them. Um, but I have a very distinct memory from when I was about seven. Um, my brother got a digital camera for Christmas, and I got Kit all dressed up in her red, white, and blue cheer outfit and her pom-poms and posed her. And I was so upset I uh, went and tattled to my mom because my brother wouldn't let me use the camera to take a doll photo. So I guess that would be the real answer to when did I first take doll photos. Uh, I was about seven, and it was a yellow digital camera, and it looked hilarious compared to cameras now. AG World Sisters wants to know my AG Instagram layer, uh, my AG Instagram and AG Tube inspirations. Um, AG Tube inspirations. I'd probably have to go with your basics. Um, AG Smiles, Anna Basil Mentos, AG Overseas fan just because they were the first ones that caught my attention and I think they're great at what they do. Um, AG Instagram inspirations are a little more difficult for me because I'm really, really bad at remembering names. Sorry. Um, I guess AG Smiles again. Uh, AG Market's cool. Um, if I think of any more, before, before I post the video, while I'm editing it, I'll write them down here. So if there's a name down here, those are my AG inspirations. If not, <laughs> oops. Um, AG Polaroid underscore zero three wants to know my favorite girl of the year and my lookalike doll. My favorite girl of the year is Grace, mostly because she's just incredibly photogenic and we have the same... Uh, we really like a lot of the same things. We're both bakers. I love to bake. Ask anybody that knows me or that I work with. And then my lookalike doll is Girl of the Year 2014 Isabel, my Zara. Uh, we used to look a lot more alike, but then I cut my hair. So now, but we still look alike. I mean, if you scroll down in my Instagram feed, you can see a comparison. And I think, I mean, I think we're twins, but I guess that's an opinion. AG.blue wants to know my fave and least favorite 
things about Be Forever. My favorite thing about Be Forever would be that the attention is being brought back to the historical characters, which is the basis for American Girl, and I think it's very important that there's a lot of focus on them. My least favorite thing is a little petty, but my least favorite thing is that they took the illustrations and the pictures out of the looking back sections of the book. I cannot tell you how many times, like, because I had all the American Girl books growing up, and I would read them at night, even if I, you know, I'd reread them and reread them and just read segments that were my favorite, and I would always look at the pictures in the looking back, and now they're gone. And I think that's just really sad that now kids have to Google stuff to see what it looked like. You can't just look in your book. AG Lover uh, 5431 wanted to know how I got into American Girl, and that is. I don't really remember ever not knowing about American Girl or being into it, um, but my mom blames one of my aunts, probably my Aunt Lucy, I think. I'm pretty sure. I have a lot of aunts, but I'm pretty sure it's my Aunt Lucy that she blames for getting me into American Girl because my cousins were into it and I guess she thought my sister and I would like it too. Um, and then my f she also wanted to know my favorite place to take pictures, which I really don't like to take pictures inside just because um, I can stay in the air conditioning or the heater depending on which time of the year it is. Uh, but I also really, really enjoy taking pictures at state parks and fun different places that I go. And I don't get as many opportunities to do that as I would like to, but I do enjoy taking my dolls different places and kind of experimenting with new backgrounds. Abby's Dolls with two S's wants to know my thoughts on Caroline's retirement and I'm sad about it but I'm probably not as upset as most people because she's not I never read her book and I feel bad about that but I mean I'm sad that she's going because I'm sure she's a great character and she's beautiful but I'm also really excited for the opportunity to get new dolls brought into the collections and if I could bring back any retired doll who would I bring back and that is almost without a doubt Kirsten because I think she's just a really understated character, but she's got such a beautiful uh, writing to her, and she's a gorgeous little doll, and, and she's one of the originals, and I think she's just a, you know, a staple, and she's, she is, defines American Girl to me, one of the three. Um, Outdoor Dolls wants to know my least favorite doll that I have, and that's a really hard question. Um... I love all my dolls, and I, you know, I got each of them for a reason, so, and I kept them for a reason. So I couldn't really say that I have a least favorite. The one that I am not as well bonded with right now is probably Felicity, but I'm working on it. Because I, I keep thinking, you know, like, why do I have this doll if I don't ever use her? But even her, I don't, she's not my least favorite, because there's still, there's still a reason that I have her. I enjoy her character. I loved her books growing up, and... I might not like the doll necessarily as much as some of the others, I might not photograph her as much, but I still love the character and I have such a strong bond with that that I can't, I could never call her my least favorite. Um, 18 inch farm dolls wants to know where I got Sawyer's wing and I already answered that, so scratching that off. Um, aging nautical kitty wants to to know if I could make any character, what would it look like, what would a name like, what would it be. I would create a historical character from the 90s and her name would be Carol Lee and she would have blonde hair and green eyes and she would have a twin brother and I think you get where I'm going with that. Um, she also wants to know if people that I know in real life know about my dolls and not everybody does but it's not something that I hide. If they don't know about it, it's just because it hasn't come up in conversation. All of my friends know, um, my boss knows, which is a little bit weird, but you know. Yes, Blair, I hear you. Um, she wants to say hello. Um, so, I mean, it's not something that I hide. All, most of my sorority sisters know, some of them follow me on Instagram, my cousins know, uh, my neighbors, no, obviously, because I take pictures in my backyard, and it's just, it's part of who I am, and it's something that I enjoy, so I don't ever hide it from anyone. Do I think American Girl should make boy dolls? And I, I don't really have an opinion on that. I think it's easy enough if you really want one to make it yourself, and there's plenty of tutorials and how-tos and, you know, on Etsy, and on Etsy, you can buy clothing for it. I, I, I'm impartial. 
Would I buy one if they sold them? You know, maybe. Would I make my own? You know, we'll see. I don't... It is what it is. Doll.apparel wanted to know an everyday activity. And I don't really know if I understood the question completely, but I'm going to answer it the way I think that it should be meant. And I think that is something you should do every day is read. Um, and then if you want to make it into a more physical type activity, read and then create a photo shoot based on what you've read. Because I think that's a great way to stretch your imagination. It doesn't, it doesn't even have to make sense to other people. You know, like read it and then just create something from it. It doesn't, the links that connect them don't have to match up in anyone's mind but yours. As long as you know what you're doing and you're using that imagination and creativity, that's what counts. Darling Dollies with two S's wants to know Etsy or AG. Um, uh, AG. Yeah. I mean, Etsy is cool, but in the long run, I just AG. Live Love Dolls wants to know the average time for my photo shoot setup. And it's hard to say because, I mean, if I'm going to go with how long it takes me to set up, I would go with like two minutes. But a lot of the times, the shoot that I do, I construct it and deconstruct it as I'm going to kind of get different photos. So there's not a specific amount of time somewhere more involved and those will take up to five to ten minutes is probably how long my attention span can last when I'm setting something up. Um, but usually I would go with about two minutes. Um, Alexandra underscore 0324 wants to know the number of dolls that I have. And right now I have 25 dolls. I think that's right. It kind of fluctuates a little bit. Um, well, I have 25 American Girl dolls. I just got a Girl for All Time doll, Clementine, and she is gorgeous. So I have 26 dolls, plus some porcelain dolls, and that sort of thing, but 25 American Girl dolls. And a baby baby. I don't count the baby baby. Um, Red Bean 17 wants to know, do I prefer to make American Girl stop motions? American Girl music videos or photo shoots, and I definitely prefer photo shoots, but I am really, I'm excited to try this whole YouTube thing, and I'm having fun with it, and I'm trying to, you know, explore different ways to show off the photo shoots in video format, which is, I mean, it's pretty fun. I'm enjoying it. I spend a lot of time um, working on movies on my computer lately, and it's, I mean, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Uh, hey Dolly wants to know, how so amazing, how am I so amazing, and I just got to say that I, you, all of you are how I'm so amazing, it's how I'm growing, you're all how I'm learning and bettering myself, and your encouragement is just what makes me what I am on, through American Girl on Instagram and YouTube, so how am I so amazing, the answer is you guys. Thanks! Uh, and then what color is my toothbrush? And I had to look, but it's green, which is weird because normally I have a pink toothbrush or a purple toothbrush, um, and it's a long story, but this one's green, and you don't want to hear the story. It's, it's not weird, I guess, but I don't want to talk about my toothbrush anymore. Would I get more dolls? What is my limit? Do I have any goals for how many dolls I'll have? I kind of just go with the flow on that one if I feel drawn to a doll and I have it within my resources to bring it into my collection. I do. Um, I don't have a set limit. I do feel like eventually I'm probably going to have to go through and weed out a few. And I don't have any goals. I just kind of wait and see where my collection takes itself. Sky blue with a dot in between each of the letters uh, wants to know my favorite YouTuber. I kind of already answered that. I don't really have a favorite one. I just have, I mean, it's Anna Basil Mentos and AG Smiles and AG Overseas fan. I mean, they're cool. They're all pretty nice. They're the first ones I stumbled upon, so they're kind of how I got introduced to it. Uh, so I guess they're my favorites. Yeah. Um, AG underscore underscore lover underscore underscore one wants to know my favorite flavor of ice cream, and it's cotton candy because I'm a child. I also really like uh, pecan praline and sometimes chocolate and vanilla swirl. Love Live Autumn wants to know something that I have, or no, she wants to know what I dream of doing. I don't really know, which is awful. I don't know what I want to be when I grow up, which is really, really awful because I am grown up. I'm an adult and I have to, you know, it's a lie. You never really, really know. I mean, I guess some people do, lucky ones, but I don't. Uh, I guess if I had to say what I dream of doing, I'd love to be an actress, which, <laughs> um, or, you know, 
a photographer full time, just photography, whenever I want, it would be pretty cool. Um, if I could just sit around and like dress dolls all day, I would do it. I think that would be pretty cool too, you know, dress them, maybe take photographs when I want to. That'd be my dream. Get paid to dress dolls when I want to and take photos of them when I want to. Um, clearly, dot ag wants to know something that I've always wanted to do and that is backpack. Like, I've been backpacking on camping trips and stuff like that, but I really want to backpack all over Europe. I just want to throw some stuff in a bag and go. And some of my friends did it this past summer and I'm so jealous of their pictures. Uh, I've been to Europe. I went by myself last summer for a couple of weeks, six month and a half or something like that. And it was incredible and I just want to go back and backpack and experience living somewhere, you know? I want to I wanna go somewhere for a couple of weeks and live like a local to really get a feel of being in that area, not just being a tourist in the area. Uh, Forever and Always Cherries wants to know my favorite color, which is gold. I also really like pink, um, but gold is my favorite. Pink and gold is like a win, a double win right there. AG Summer Sparkles wants to know who got me into dolls. And I've always loved dolls. It wasn't anybody that, you know, my aunt tried to send me, she sent me catalogs, but at the same time, like, you didn't have to bribe me or, like, entice me to get a doll. I loved them. I wanted one, you know, I loved AG dolls. I wanted one so bad. I wanted a, a Magic Attic doll. I wanted Heather, like, really badly. I didn't ever get her, and I'm still kind of sad about it. So I didn't really have a segment in the middle where I knew I was going to stop. So this is the end of video one. I hope you liked it. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, or you can wait until part two to make sure that that question isn't already answered. It'll be up in about a week. See you then.